Good morning, everyone. My name is Larry Cuffey. I'm the mayor of the city of Virginia. And I'm Alan Lewis, the fire chief and emergency manager for the city of Virginia. The purpose of this public service announcement is to inform the employees of the city of Virginia and all citizens of the city of Virginia the issues that we have with the corona of virus, which is COVID-19. So the city of Virginia and the Virginia Fire Department has been and continues to monitor the Novel coronavirus outbreak. It's now known as COVID-19. With this originated in December in China's Wuhan city in the Hubei province. It has spread to multiple countries, including the United States, and COVID-19 symptoms are similar to influenza and other respiratory illnesses and include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. There are nine active COVID-19 cases in Minnesota as of Friday, March 13th. This number is likely to increase as we are likely to see increases in cases and we may see cases in St. Louis County and even in the city of Virginia. There is a non-stop mainstream and social media coverage of this global pandemic and not all of the information being presented is accurate. Human coronaviruses can sometimes cause lower respiratory tract illnesses such as pneumonia or bronchitis. This is more common in people with cardiopulmonary disease, people with weakened immune systems, infants and older adults. Human coronaviruses most commonly spread from an infected person to others through the air by coughing or sneezing, close personal contact such as touching or shaking hands, and touching an object or surface with a virus on it, then touching your mo mouth, nose, eyes before washing your hands. The City of Virginia and the Virginia Fire Department and the Ambulance EMS Service is working closely with St. Louis County Public Health, Essentia Hospital, and is following the recommendations of the Minnesota Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control. Understandably, there is a high level of concern among many of our city employees and the citizens served by Virginia Fire. We are all concerned and we take this matter very seriously. We want to reassure you, the citizens of Virginia and all individuals living in our area that is served by the Virginia Fire Department and their EMS service that we are taking the necessary steps regarding the risks that are imposed by the spread of this strain of coronavirus. Seriously and continually preparing and updating our practices as recommended by the MDH, the Minnesota Department of Health, and the Center for Disease Control. And for the employees of the City of Virginia, we have taken internal measures to notify all our city employees, and this is for all your citizens as well that if we, you are experiencing any symptoms whatsoever, we recommend, and this is based on the recommendation of health officials who are professional in this nature and those who are working on a, on a vaccine for this virus, is if you have a runny nose, if you have a headache, you have a cough, you have a sore throat, you have a fever, the CDC is recommending that face masks only be worn by those experiencing these symptoms or caring for someone that has these symptoms. For the citizens served by the Virginia Fire Department Ambulance, utilize 911 only in a true emergency. Unless there is additional symptoms beyond the normal flu-like cough, cold, or low-grade fever symptoms, self-isolation is the adv advised course of action. Our hospital and EMS systems have limited capacity to deal with what is likely to be a significant increase in demand on our health care systems. Again, do not hesitate to call 911 in a true emergency. Just be very, very cognizant about our capabilities. For additional information, consult the Minnesota Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control. You can do that online. What you can do to help prevent the spread of this virus is a few tips that we're now going to share with you. Wash your hands frequently. And we can't uh, say this enough. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Use an alcohol-based hand rub in your hands, even though they're not visibly dirty. Rub your hands, wash your hands for 20 to 30 seconds as recommended. Why? Because washing your hands with soap and water or using an alcohol-based rub eliminates the virus that can accumulate or rest in your hands. Practice respiratory hygiene. This means when coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with a flexed elbow or a tissue. Discard the tissue immediately into a closed bin and clean your hands with an alcohol-based soap or a rub or soap and water. Covering your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing prevents the spread of germs and, vi and the virus. If you sneeze or cough into your hands, you may contaminate objects or people that you touch. Maintaining social distance. This means 
maintain at least six feet between yourself and other people, particularly those who are coughing, sneezing, or have a fever. And if possible, avoid these kind of contact altogether. Why? When someone who is infected with a respiratory disease like 2019 NCoV or 2019 COVID coughs or sneezes, they project small droplets. When you cough and sneeze, you project these small droplets containing the virus or could contain the virus. If you are too close, you can breathe in that virus. So maintaining a social distance of at least six feet helps mitigate this potential for infection. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. If you, your hands touch the surfaces which can be contaminated with this virus and then you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth, your contaminated hands can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. Uh, the con in conclusion, we just want to state that the City of Virginia and the Virginia Fire Department are committed to taking care of their employees and the citizens they serve. We're asking for your help in this challenging time. Please, again, consult the Centers for Disease Control and the Minnesota Department of Health. There's a lot of inaccurate information being published on social media and even in mainstream media. We want you to go to the source. Go to the Centers for Disease Control, the Minnesota Department of Health, uh, for accurate information and guidance. In additional information will be posted on our social media sites and communicated through the press as necessary. And additional information regarding how the city is going to respond to these. We're taking into account our emergency action plan, our emergency operation plan. Part of this is the health and safety of our community. The other part is how we're going to provide to you, the citizens, uh, basic services in the event that we have to shut down the facilities. We've already taken some steps, and I'll, I'll, I'll outline them for you uh, in a couple of minutes. Water, electric, garbage, EMS, police, fire, and city hall will all be affected. To what degree? You'll be hearing information about that moving forward. Uh, House file 3980 is, is uh, being moved through the legislature rather quickly, and that's to allocate $79 million for the, the fighting of this virus, for investigating this virus, for trying to find a vaccine for this virus, to take whatever steps necessary to protect the citizens and of this community from this health pandemic. We as a city are educating our staff and are prepared to take any necessary action. All employee travel and group training is canceled. The library is postponing all future events and will likely close to walking in, walk in traffic. We are assessing the status of non-emergency services and non-essential personnel. All employees are instructed to stay home and quarantine in place or seek medical attention if they have any symptoms whatsoever, if their children get sick, or they feel that they've been in contact with someone who could potentially has or have reported to have uh, been sick in some way, shape, or form. Wash and sanitize your hands regularly. Avoid contact with any surface that is likely to be a host. Sanitize these surfaces on a regular basis. Avoid large crowds, even small groups. Cancel and avoid club and organizational meetings. We will follow the guidelines established by the Center for Disease Control and the state and county health officials. We will take every reasonable step, every reasonable precaution. Stores in the area, as you all probably are aware, are out of stock of hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and masks. Residents are taking whatever steps they can to minimize their risk. There is a poster of guidelines for dissemination about this regarding children. What can you do in the event, what should you do with children? We are taking this pandemic very seriously. We're looking to ensure that we can identify and protect the citizens the best we possibly can under these circumstances. Now, we've had citizens uh, email, make telephone calls, and are very concerned and uh, believe that, you know, we are not taking the necessary steps moving forward, but I, we, we, we are. We are taking these steps. We are very serious about this. This is something uh, as a health risk to all of us. So we're going to do whatever we can to help mitigate, minimize, and, and protect the community. Now, we're going to follow our emergency operations plan in the event something uh, uh, gets to the point where it's really uh, uh, become a, a pandemic. Uh, we, we are working with Essential Health to try to find, you know, places where people can go, where the temporary shelters can be given, quarantine stations will be set up, and the public will be notified of those, of those quarantine stations uh, if it comes to that. 
So we want to make sure that we assure you that we are taking every precautionary measure moving forward. The citizens of Virginia who deserve it. We need to keep our health and, and, and balance perspective intact. It's been an economic nightmare for us. And there are a lot of uh, uh, clubs and organizations that have already closed. Events at the Miners Memorial Building have been canceled. Most recent cancellation has been the Home Boat and Travel Show. That's no longer going to be happen next week. So we are going to probably likely close all events beginning on Monday morning. All events will be canceled. We'll probably try to make sure that if you have any questions or comments, you use our online approach to things, or if you need a permit, or you need uh, uh, a city access for city business, we would urge you not to come into City Hall. We urge you to use our interactive website, www.virginmen.us. This is a website that's interactive. You can get whatever you want online. You can download your permits, whatever you need to be done. And if you have any questions, any concerns at all, if you are uh, have a, uh, an individual who uh, is, 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 is in, in crisis, make sure you call 911 immediately. There are non-emergency numbers that you can call, but 911 is a call that's to get you immediate emergency response. The non-emergency number to the fire department is 2748-7520, 748-7520. And the non-emergency number to the police department is 748-7510, 748-7510. Any questions, concerns, or comments regarding or about this particular COVID-19 virus, please do not hesitate to call. Either go online, use the CDC website, use the Minnesota Department of Health website, call our fire EMS personnel. They're trained to give you the information that you need. They'll give you advice on how to move forward, and we are going to follow our guidelines established by these two entities and also uh, incorporate and put into action our emergency operations plan uh, as, as, as it becomes necessary to do so in an inc incremental way. We don't want to panic anybody. But we want you aware we're taking this very seriously. So please, you know, try to stay healthy as best you can. And if there's anything that city can do, we will certainly do that. And any other updates will be forthcoming. We'll make sure the citizens of Virginia are, are adequately informed of the, the, the new, th new changes that are being made, anything that's going to affect your life with respect to our city services. So thank you. Wash your hands. Remain calm. Carry on.